Let's have a closer look to the connection of the pulse reflex and the pico module. The three connections on the pulse reflex are for future technologies. Below that, we can find the lung connection. The lung connection can be used for patient data management systems. The other two are USB connection, which can be used for internal storage of information of your patient. Pico module on this side has three connections here. The first one, the orange one, is for your cardiac output connection. The cable with cardiac output and with the injectate sensor will enter here. The red one here is for your arterial pressure. Here you can put in your arterial pressure connection of transducer. The bottom you can see here is for your central venous pressure. On both sides we have also an extra connection. This is an output connection. This connection is to slave your arterial pressure to your external monitor of your bedside. That's the same as for your central venous pressure. The central venous pressure can also be connected to your bedside monitor. This is your cardiac output cable. This is the orange plug. And if you look at your module, you can see the orange connection. So it's color coded. To connect it, just find the right spot, just twist and push it in. We have also the injectate cable. The injectate cable does not go into the pulse reflex module, it goes into the connection of the cardiac output block. As you can see here, colored coded again, this needs to be plugged in over here. Just easily put it in, push it through, and it's there. This is your arterial pressure cable. This one goes to your arterial pressure transducer and this one goes into your pulse reflex module. Just the same as the other connection, it's color coded, red, just twist and push it in and it's set. After entering the power cord at the back side of the pulse reflex, you just need to switch on the device by just pressing the button. When you turn the unit, you will see that there will be a green light. This means there is power on the device. When you touch the on off button, the unit will start up. It will probably take about 40 seconds before the unit is completely started up. The next item I want to talk to you about is the menu button. You see on the left part, you have the off on switch button. In the middle, you've got the alarm sound button, which sounds off the alarm for two minutes. And at the right part, you see your menu button. By just pressing the button, you will enter the menu. This one is being divided in three parts. First part is the configurations. Second one, extras. And the third one, measure. If we go to the configurations, we have the first button, which is patient. Here we can enter patient data. The second one is alarms. Here we can adjust the alarm setting to our own preferences. The third button is system. Entering this, you can enter several system data information. The fourth button is the parameter overview. The last one is the layout. In the middle, we have the extras. In the first button of the extras, we have the printer option button. The second one is the demo. The third one is my help function button. The fourth one is data acquisition. And the last one is volume testing. The third row is measurement. Here we can go through the menu for zero, our arterial pressure or our central venous pressure. The second button is to get into the PICO measurement. The third button is an extra option button to entering DO2. 
The last function in a configuration is layout. By just simply pressing layout, you come to the layout screen. There are 10 different layout settings. Two of them are not available because they are being used for another technology in the Pulsion Flex. The other eight layouts can be selected. We use the default layout with the organ view. If you like to have a different kind of layout, you can just simply select the layout you like, or by pressing the arrow on the left side, you can scroll through the layout function. Selecting the right layout according to your likings, just simply press the layout and the layout will be selected and being displayed. In this layout, you can just set up your own parameter. If you want to have extra information, setting up here, pressing here on the cardiac index window, you see that the cardiac index parameter is being showed here. If you want to add an extra parameter, simply adding the number two function, you will be set to the parameter list. And at this parameter list, you can select for example, the turbo dilution cardiac index. If you select this item, this parameter, going out, and you will see it displayed over here. If you want to go back to the default parameter, just simply press the menu button, go to layout, go to the organ view, select the organ view again, pressing select, and the organ view is being displayed again. Let's have a closer look to the graphics screen. We're using symbols and we're using colors. For example, for our extra vascular long water, we see that it is green. Green means it's okay. When we look closer to the pulmonary vascular permeability index, it is yellow. Yellow means I'm slightly off. When the color is red, the number is really low or really high. Do we have a close look to the organ view on the top? The system tells me there is no extra vascular long water, shown by the symbol, which is a round dot and it's green. We can see visually there is no long water available in the lungs. The PVPI is also in normal range. This is the area which shows us PVPI. It's green. So it's okay. The symbol in the middle will not change. It just indicates the turbodilution cardiac index and the global endosolic volume and the global ejection fraction. The lower part is our systemic resistance. The systemic resistance will change in symbol. When the symbol shows me it's red and it's on the low side, I have a low resistance, so my veins are open like this. If we have a look at this setup for the patient, we can see now that my resistance has been changed. At this moment, I have high resistance, but it automatically goes to a very low cardiac index. Still, my long water and my PVPI are in normal range. This example shows me a low resistance. But the change here is that I have a very high extravascular long water. You can see it as a symbol that I have a lot of fluid in my lungs being presented and displayed in this graphic. Even my PVPI is very high. That means that my permeability index is open. You can see here that it is a dotted area around the lungs.